You know, my friends, I just don't know what I would do without you. I mean, not only would I have to scoop all of the poop for all of our pandas myself, not only would I have to go ahead and formulate all of the different kinds of feed that our many crossbreed animals need, not only would I have to roam the halls of this laboratory science chaos all by myself, but I also wouldn't be able to come up with the fascinating crossbreed mixes that you guys do, like crossbreeding a panda and a fox! <gasps> I never thought of that! I never thought of that! Not once in all of our laboratory experiments did I think, oh, we should take the adorable little poofy tail and ears and the tiny little paws of the fox and we should go ahead and mix that with the fluffy panda. I just didn't do it. It was a, a gap in my sense of curiosity and excitement. And I want to thank you guys for all of the amazing suggestions that you have added in in our previous episodes of our... <clears throat> okay, okay, you guys getting ready for this? Getting ready for this? All right, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this Mungo. Welcome back to our laboratory. Wait, that's not what I say. What do I normally say? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've forgotten. Okay, okay, I've got this. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge, where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we could create. Ha! Huh, I did it! I did it! You guys have no many, like, no idea how many times I will start that and then have to do it again because I messed up. Maybe one of these days I'll, you know, have some sort of blooper collection. Uh, but then again, I suppose all of the little babies that we bounce out of these petri dishes kind of are bloopers themselves, aren't they? <laughs> But all right, so welcome back everyone. Today, like I said, we are going to be borrowing Pony the Panda from our Planet Zoo series where we are once again back in our pixel sanctuary trying to retrofit it since it was our very first Planet Zoo Zoo and it's a painful experience in um, a lot of ways to see what we built the very first day that we were a fresh brand new bright-eyed zookeeper back in Planet Zoo and I really think our pandas deserve better and along the way of figuring out the better that our pandas deserve we also have picked up one of the foxes who roam about our Sims 4 green family legacy and their cottage adventures let's just say I've got my eyes on Fern and Jean's jeans mm-hmm 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 that's that's all I'll say for that, though, because <laughs> I don't want to make any promises I can't fulfill. But in any case, let's go ahead and we are going to gather C, the fox, who has been lured out from the cottage living bushes to go ahead and nibble some of the berries we've left out, and Pony the panda, who is currently sitting in what I hope is a palace of bamboo, and we'll just pluck some of their DNA. I, I doubt there's a love story between these two, to be honest. Have you guys ever seen a panda? Like... They don't even have a love story between themselves. That's the whole reason they're like endangered. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and mix their jeans into the little Petri dishes and see if some of you guys actually get plucked by the random generator to become their pox. Okay, pox is a terrible mix of those two, but fandas, to become their fandas. <laughs> All right, to become their fanda cubs or kits, depending on how big they are. So, without further ado, let's strap on those safety goggles and jump right in. You guys know the drill by now. Oh my gosh, we need more panda mixes. Every time, every time I am reminded by how absolutely adorable and precious the pandas are. <sighs> All right, well, let's go ahead and add in the fox DNA to the panda mix. And we have, oh, whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but this is actually going to be Ruby. Ruby, you happen to have inherited one ruby eye, which is quite interesting. And you have very pointed ears. So I think you might grow up to be more like your fox parent, but we'll have to see. And also like an albino fox is quite common. I wonder, do they have linguistic pandas? Where the pandas, or albino pandas? Where they don't have any black on them? They, I, I, I. I don't think so, but I have a vague recollection of maybe seeing something like that before. <laughs> this is why I have all of you here as my lab like assistants, because you can look that up for me and let me know. <laughs> but all right, Ruby, you are going to be a glutton who is stubborn and loyal, 
you know, so I think that you're going to be very loyal to whoever feeds you. That's that's a good thing. That's a good thing, I suppose. And also, oh, by the way, Ruby, thank you so much for your suggestion of a griffin and a saber tooth. So some of you are still quite fascinated with the fantasy side of our genetic experiments. And of course, you can always add in your suggestions down below. And the random comment generator might just pick you and your ideas for a future crossbreed. Oh, look at this, yes! Okay, we actually have a very small body on Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, okay. Sweet Pea, there we go. What an adorable name. I think that now that we have a comparison, we can tell that Ruby might turn out to be more panda-shaped because their ears are smaller than Sweet Pea, who is a hairy, smart, and very vocal panda, I suppose. <laughs> And we have the suggestion of a fox and a cat with Sweet Pea. And hmm, I wonder what kind of cat. I wonder if we could do one of the smaller wild cats. Like say a bobcat and a fox would be kind of cool, right? Actually, that would be really cool. All right, where are my notes? Okay, bobcat and fox. Ah, see, I feel like fox mixed with almost anything always turns out to be really fascinating. So let's see, we're gonna go ahead and grab the next little one. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> Can you imagine a panda that looks like this? Okay, that would be really awesome. Like an all black panda. Do they have melanistic pandas? So we already asked about like the, the linguistic pandas, but I never thought about that. Like I, I'm just a panda is like black and white, right? I'm just so used to thinking about them like that. I never stop to think if that's all they can be or if their genes are hiding other colors. Can you imagine a panda and a cheetah so we could have spotted pandas? Okay, I think I know what we're going to be working on next, especially since, you know, working with the panda DNA, we're trying to go ahead and celebrate the fact that we are reviving the pixel sanctuary in our planet zoo adventures. And meanwhile, we have Lexi. Lexi, welcome. You are an independent troublemaker who is a hunter. Okay, that that definitely sounds a lot more like a fox. <laughs> but we'll have to see if you grow up to be a big, like, gigantic, dark-furred panda, or if you're going to be itty-bitty. And I don't know, maybe maybe you'll also nibble on the horticulture while you're going for all of the, the little, like, mice and other things that foxes eat. Hmm, we'll have to see when you grow up what you're going to be. And let's pull up the next one. Here we go, here we go. And we have got, oh, whoa. Are we sure? I mean, yeah, look, there's Pony, there's C, there's the panda, there's the fox. Huh. And this is gonna be Husky. <laughs> After Husky's rule, so Huskies like this, Husky's rule. Why not? I kind of feel like I, I was thrown what, like a fanda that looks more like a puppy uh, so that I could be reminded that it's been a little while since we've actually worked with proper dogs, huh? <gasps> what about a Dalmatian and a panda? Oh, I've never thought about that either. That would be so cute. All right, Husky's rule. You are a hunter who is playful and smart. And I'm so glad to see that you are enjoying our adventures in Planet Zoo. Yes, no doubt you can pop on over there and have another shot at uh, the random comment generator picking you to possibly be maybe one of our pandas or one of our very sad pangolin. You, you, you don't want the random generator to pick you to be a pangolin. Trust me. If you know, you know. <clears throat> but moving on from those slightly dubious ethics and very sad memories, we're going to go ahead and see dun, 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 what the next little fanda is going to be. <gasps> Look at the white nose! Okay, that's different. That's different because we have a pink nose. We have a pink nose on our other little one. And this is going to be Laura. Laura, welcome, welcome. This is very different. You have like the ruby eyes. Lexi has a pink nose. You have a white nose. Where did we even get a white nose? Like, where did that even come from? That's so adorable. And Laura, you are going to be friendly active and independent and you suggest a newfoundland and a poodle and we could name them noodles that is amazing and actually i i need to know how many of you guys have actually met newfoundlands like the dogs in person because now that i'm thinking about it i've met um uh, uh oh 
How did I just blank on this? The St. Bernard's. <laughs> I almost said I've met the Beethoven dogs, and I don't think any of you are old enough to get that reference anymore. Ugh. Oof. Ow. Feeling my age. That's okay. In any case, I have never met a Newfoundland in person, I think. There's a lot of poodles where I live. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of poodles. And there's a lot of Labradoodles. Like, or, or no, actually, they're golden, gold, doodles? Golden doodles? Yeah, golden doodles are all over the place where I live. But, uh, not really, maybe like two actual poodle poodles? Okay, now I'm going down the poodle, like, pool of possibilities, which actually sounds amazing, because now I'm thinking, what if we did have a poodle and a panda. Oh no, okay, look, all of these sound amazing. A Newfoundland and a poodle sounds really cool too. Ugh. All right, and unfortunately, Laura, I cannot crossbreed a cat and a peacock. If I could get birds in here, you guys would be just buried in feathers, trust me. However, we can indeed crossbreed our big cats, like the lions and tigers, oh my, with peacocks over in our Let's Build a Zoo series. So, actually, I kind of want to do that now. I really, 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 really love putting peacock tails on, like, animals that don't normally have peacock tails. I don't know why. It's just a weird, like, hobby, I guess? Putting peacock tails on random animals? Is that how I got here in the laboratory with these experiments? And also we have Lala! Lala, hello! You are our last little fanda. And, oh, you're aggressive. Okay. I mean, you're gonna very aggressively bite some bamboo, I guess. Maybe you're very aggressive against trees, like a beaver. Oh, how I wish we could have beavers. Oh, but I guess we can and let's build a zoo too. Huh. It seems that I'm going to hire a lot of you to be my interns across many of our genetic series. So I hope that you're ready for science. And you're also quite loyal. So at least hopefully you won't be aggressive towards us. We'll give you plenty of bamboo, Lala. And then Lala, you suggest a wolf and a cat. Which kind of cat? We have many. I don't know if we've done a bobcat and a wolf yet. Like, I feel like we should just go down the line with all of the possible combinations with wolves, and I think that's going to make many of you happy. But all right, it is time. Oh, and now I want to, like, go and just hang out with our pandas. Have you guys ever sat with our pandas in our pixel sanctuary and just watch them eat bamboo? It is extremely relaxing. Ridiculously relaxing. And I really think maybe I'll do like a little ambient moment where, where you can just watch them, but just hearing them crunch through that bamboo, very calming. And now that I think of it, the only times I've ever seen foxes, other than a Finnick fox who was very unhappy at his brother, um, and that was, in, that was in a zoo, just to clarify. I have not seen wild Finnick foxes. I would make a lot more noise about that if I had. <laughs> But the only times I've ever seen foxes, they are usually trotting down the middle of the sidewalk in my mother-in-law's neighborhood, like they own the place, and just disappearing into the bushes. It's been interesting. Those, those are the only times I can think where I've actually seen a wild fox. And I don't know if you're really wild if you live in the middle of the city. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and grow these little ones up and see if we're going to get a whole bunch of panda. I'm actually really hoping for a panda pattern fox. That's what we're going for here. However, it looks like mixing together the genes of our panda pony and our fox C have actually made a lot of uh, unusual colorations, including I'm really fascinated with Laura's like little white nose. How did that happen? It's adorable. And Lala taking on some of the more unusual fox coloration. Let's see what you guys grow up into. Ruby? <laughs> Ruby, you're big! Okay, so Ruby is pushing our concept of what it means to be a short-furred albino, <laughs> albino polar bear. Uh, I said polar bear. Oh my gosh, I meant panda bear, but I guess you could see I was thinking polar bear. Wait, have we done any polar bears? Wait a second! Oh my gosh, we need to do more polar bears! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm kind of, you know what, Sweet Pea? I'm gonna save you for last because you're the only one who looks like a panda and we'll go through the others first. So Lexi, do those big paws indicate that you're going to be a big fluffy black panda? Yes, yes they do. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. I kind of love the idea that you think this is kind of more like a dog or something. Actually, you don't even look like a dog. But then those big giant paws are used to just hold bamboo and just go crunch, crunch. Uh, also, I never thought about it, but tails on a panda. <gasps> Sweet pea, are you going to grow a tail? Am I going to? I've never thought about long tailed pandas until now. Mostly because I usually think about sticking peacock tails on them, as we discussed before. But I'm going to have to give that some thought. All right, Husky's rule. You are. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look how tiny you are. Oh 
and there's no tail on you. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. You're going to be the bane of gardeners everywhere as you go ahead and you hunt for like clovers and, and probably poppies, and, well, don't eat poppies, uh, petunias and everything else. Oh my gosh. You kind of look like a squirrel. If that makes me really love you. <laughs> oh, all right, Laura. Oh my gosh. Okay, Laura, Laura is taking on that, uh, that melanistic tone to the pandas that we were thinking about. And now that I see it, I think that would be amazing, but also slightly intimidating. I'm trying to think like black bears, kind of like a black bear, huh? But actually take it back. Cause if there was like a black bear and I knew it was only going to eat like acorns and grass, I wouldn't be quite so intimidated by them. No, I take that back. They still have very, very, very big claws and they're actually large, not as large as grizzly bears, but still. Hmm. I like it. I like it. I want what else can I give a white nose to? Like that's what I'm taking away from our experiment with you, Laura. Lala, you're next. <gasps> Lala, just a cute little fox who's going to be a little bit of a troublemaker with anybody's patch of potatoes. I can just foresee it. And finally, Sweet Pea, are you going to answer my dreams of being a fox-sized panda? <gasps> you did! You did for me! Oh, Sweet Pea, thank you. You have very, very short fur, and you did not grow a tail, and you kind of look like a panda mouse, but I will take it. You're adorable. Oh, see? This, this kind of chaos, where we go from being polar bear-sized to being basically a panda mouse, this is why we're here, my friends, to chase that thrill of curiosity. So, all right, if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. Uh, also, you know, if you want to go ahead and help me scoop poop and possibly be named, uh, have one of these little ones named after you, then all you have to do is leave a comment down below and the random comment generator just might pick you. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!